You know, if somebody asks me, because I don't have a stove, how would I cook pasta? Now the obvious answer would be my Instant Pot or my Ninja Foodie or any other pressure cooker that I have. Let's go down here, guys. Under my island and see what we got in here. So, I do have pots. This is my single induction burner, and this is my dual induction burner. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug, and what you see here is my New Wave Precision Induction Cooktop Double Burner. And to my subscribers and viewers that never heard of an induction cooktop, basically it's a portable plug-in stovetop that you just plug into any outlet. So you can put this anywhere, in your attic, in your kitchen. You could actually carry it outside as long as it's not raining or snowing or any type of wet thing going on. And what makes induction cooking a little different, the heat is basically instant. And it only cooks on pots and pans with a bottom that looks like this. Has a metal. Or, if it doesn't look like that, then any cast iron. For instance, I'll put this bowl on there. Let's put a bowl on there. And hit start high and hit start. See? It's flashing. No heat. E1. See? Let's get a, a pot with the metal bottom and see what happens. I'm going to put a little water in here just to show you how fast it heats up. Mind you, this is cold water from my sink. So, all right, I'm going to hit max sear. Actually, let me show you here. Max sear. You got high and max sear. So we'll just go to the max since we're showing you. I'm going to hit start. see for yourself okay guys three minutes so works just like a stovetop and the remarkable thing about this is about 25 seconds after you remove it from the pot you put your hand on here and it's just barely warm so there you have it these are all the buttons up close Anywho, today we're going to keep it sexy for you guys. I'm going to make Cooking with Doug style penne alla vodka. Come on guys, you know what it is. Cut it out and subscribe already. Got a white onion. Got my onion chopper in the house. Chop your onion however you like, but this is super easy. Link will be in the description. Alright, now we got it on. Let's go ahead and cover it. And then we're just going to pull and chop. You ready? You get the point. Next, I'm going to cut up my garlic. I happen to have fresh peeled garlic. But whatever garlic you have, it will be fine. The recipe calls for four cloves. So I'm going to do six. Because <laughs> I love garlic. And I find that recipes, I always want to add more. If, if I use what the recipe uses, I always wish I added more. So I just think that way. <laughs> Something like that. Smells so good, guys. Smell it. All right. Let me get my induction-ready pot going. And like I said, you could use cast iron as well. Recipe calls for medium-high. There is a medium-high button conveniently so I'm gonna hit start so that's 375 for those that don't have that button I got some extra virgin olive oil Put some of that in there. that's enough when it starts to pop go ahead and add your onions Okay. 
You're gonna let this go for about three minutes, stir occasionally. I'm gonna add my go-to, which is pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. You could just add salt or black um, salt and pepper. But you know I always have to add my go-to. I'm also going to add some crushed red peppers. Perfect. Give that a mix. Smelling fantastic already, guys. All right, now I'm gonna add my garlic and let that cook for about two minutes. And at this point, go ahead and get one cup of your vodka ready. Because in two minutes, we're gonna pour that in. You wanna get that ready because we don't wanna burn the garlic. Let's add our vodka. Make sure you scrape down the sides. We want all that goodness in there. And don't worry, the alcohol is going to cook out of it. It's just going to add to the, um, you know, the pasta. It's going to add to the flavor of the pasta sauce. I'm using this. Use whatever you like. I can smell the vodka. But it, that smell will go away shortly. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is bring it down to low. I guess medium low. There's a medium low button and that's 175. So I brought, I brought it down because we want to bring it down to like a simmer and let it sit for about 25 minutes or so. Right, guys, I went ahead and paused it. I'm going to cut this up and throw it in there and then let it simmer for the 25 minutes. It's about half of it. Okay, so let's give it a final mix here before we let it sit for 25 minutes on medium low. Looking good. I haven't put my lid on. What's cool about this induction burner, guys, and there's many other cool things that I didn't go over today that I will in another video. But anywho, this has a timer on it. So I'm going to hit medium low, which, like I said, is 175. Then I'm going to hit cook time. I'm going to hit 25. I'm going to hit cook time again. And then I'm going to hit start. So in 25 minutes, this will shut off on its own, completely pimp-like. I don't think I've ever used this in any of my videos. <clears throat> this is a cast iron pot. I bought this on QVC uh, probably in 2017. I'm sure they don't sell it, but this is completely awesome. We're going to use this on the second burner to, um, to cook the pasta, the panace. Very cool. Remember, we're using penne. But actually, you can use whatever pasta you like. So, yeah. And that's one pound. All right, we got the second side now. So we just want to boil this. So I'm just going to, again, I'll hit max here. And I'm going to hit start. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. Y'all know what I'm about to say. This could be you. Twenty-five minutes is up, so we're all good. All right, guys, we're both done. I drained my pasta. So since this 
is bigger than this pot, I'm going to actually transfer this to this. Go ahead and add a half, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm probably going to add more than that, but fresh Parmesan. Fresh Parmesan cheese would be best, but I don't have that, so I'm just going to use what I have. Go ahead and mix that in. Ah, oh, this smells so good. This smells so good. And we're going to add our heavy whipping cream in a second. Alright, finally I'm going to do a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Pour that in, let that marinate for a little bit, mix it up. Let everyone talk to each other, and we should be good to go. I'm going to keep this on medium low for, I don't know, about five minutes, and then we'll be ready to eat. Guess I'll cook up some garlic bread for you guys. This is the best countertop oven money can buy in 2021. It's called the June Oven. Just go to Juneoven.com. You can find out find out all the information you need. Why is it better than your oven? Here's why. Texas toast it has a camera on the top. It could see what's in. It could see the food, and it knows how to cook it. All right, guys, we are finally done. It's smelling fantastic, guys. Mm. You see that? Paper towel time. If you've not tried Ciroc Summer Watermelon, you gotta try it. It's the bomb.org. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. You saw the paper towel go up, so that means it's time to eat. First, let's get a swig of this Ciroc Watermelon. You first. Fantastic. All right. Let's dig in. Put a little salad on the side, guys. So I can feel better about myself. <laughs> this smells fantastic, guys. You first. You got it? It's too good. This is too good. The vodka added a different dimension of flavor. I can't even describe it. It doesn't taste like alcohol or anything. It just... I can't even explain it. Try it again. Mm. Too good. Gotta taste it with the garlic bread. Get it. Got it. Mm. June oven, baby. Mm. It's just too good, man. Have some salad with me. You got it? Put some French dressing on there. Red onions. Fantastic. By the way, guys, you can cook this in your Instant Pot or whatever pressure cooker you have, whether it be a Ninja Foodie or whatever. You All you have to do is cook the panais. And that I believe that would take about six minutes. So cook it six minutes. Do everything I did. Just pressure cook it for six minutes and boom. So don't feel left out. But I want to show my viewers and subscribers that I too... 
can cook on the stove top if I wanted to. You may never ever see this again, but I just wanted to show you I can if I want to. <laughs> so I'll put the rest away for another day. I vacuum sealed this. This is gonna go in my deep freezer and this can go for up to a year and it'll be super fresh. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, consider getting one. It's just fantastic. Then I Ziploc this. This I'll eat this in the next two to three weeks. And this isn't just in the Tupperware. I'll eat that probably tomorrow. <laughs> well, this was fun, guys. I just want to introduce to some of you guys induction cooking and just show you guys the double burner. And like I said, link will be in the description. And I'll be doing some other videos on this in the future because this has some other functions that um, need to be discussed, such as program and stage. Um, so there's stages. So you could have stage one, stage two, stage three, I think up to stage five. So stage one might be searing and then for four minutes and then stage two would be, I don't know, medium low for, I don't know, 15 minutes. So you could actually program this to do different stages, which is absolutely pimp-like. But we're going to get into that in another video. We're going to unpack that later. I just wanted to introduce this to you guys. I didn't want to get too deep into it right now. But anywho, I'm going to sit down and enjoy my dinner. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.